Hello Pisces, and this is your daily read for August 31st. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Alright, Spirit, what do you got for my Pisces babies for today? What do you have for my Pisces babies for today? I have the Ten of Swords. Man, you're tired of fighting. You're tired of fighting alone, but you're at the end of the cycle of, you know, something is dead, done, and over with, okay? But there's still some kind of fight or some kind of struggle right now. We have the Judgment card. The Judgment card is about releasing the old stuff so you can open up to something new. And you're trying to make that Judgment call of how you're going to do it and how, how, how you're going to do it and when you're going to do it. When is it going to come together? We have the Eight of Wands. I feel like that you could be getting an epiphany or some kind of communication comes flying in. We have the Page of Pentacles. Um, so that way you can start making new plans of something very solid. We have the Seven of Cups. You could have offers coming in that's making you a bit confused. The Hangman is definitely your energy. You don't know what to do with it. This one went to pop out too, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So this has everything to do with your home life, with your money, um, with your financial, uh, you know, your financial situation. Um, bottom deck energy is a higher font. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You don't have to be. You could also be dealing with the Libra. I also see some Earth in here, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, um, but doesn't have to be any of these. Could also be air, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So what I'm seeing here is you're looking for commitment. You're looking for marriage. You're looking for something solid, somebody or something that is going to go with you through the lessons. Okay. So with the 10 of Pentacles here, it tells me that you do want a happy home family life. Um, you want to be able to come home and know that that is your utopia. That is your kingdom. That is your domain. Okay. So that is what you're trying to build up. But you're looking for somebody who is going to stand up solid for that as well. So with the Ten of Swords, you're there's something that you have been fighting for a long time. But it's dead, done, and over with. You're throwing the swords down. You're making the judgment call to move in a different direction. You're like, I'm tired of the wishy-washiness. This is not aligning with me. This is something that I want. I want to build. I want this. I want that. Okay? So there is a judgment call that you're making here. Now, for some of you, you could be going through a legal matter, but you don't have to be. Um, but it is a sense of you just making that judgment call and balancing out the scales. So with the Eight of Wands, it tells me that there could be some kind of fast communication from you or from another person trying to build something that is solid. Now, maybe you're reaching out to them. Maybe they're reaching out to you. But I kind of feel like you're reaching out to them because this is what you want. Okay? So you want something that's solid. You want somebody who you don't have to take care of. You want... Uh, a situation where you can work on your own growth they can work on theirs they can help you with with yours and you can help them with theirs but you don't want anybody that you have to fix or anybody that you have to baby anymore you don't have time to be dealing with it so you're looking out for yourself first and foremost so with the page of pentacles it's like i want something solid i don't care how slow and steady it is but I am in the plans. I am in the making of making this happen for myself. So I feel like that you're in a like a manifestation phase. With the Seven of Cups, you could be a little bit confused about your options. It's like, okay, this is what I want, but how do I go about it? How can I get there quicker? What is it that um, I need to do? And the thing is, though, is that you have all the knowledge that you need. It's just that you need to start making the moves. And they're not going to be easy moves either. It's like if you have if you want a house, you have to uh, get a realtor or get that loan. And, you know, you have to do the next step of whatever it is that you want. So it's like if you are if you're still tied up to a past situation and you want something new, you have to set yourself free from that past situation before the future thing will open up. It's like, you know what you need to do. You have all the knowledge that you need, but you're just standing there. So you have to question yourself as to why. 
So it's like if you're waiting on somebody else to do something, sometimes you have to just pull the rug in order to get them to do it. You know, um, sometimes we are waiting for outside people to do what they need to do in order for us to get moving. But sometimes that is for our benefit because it's a person that we want to move forward with. But if it's a person that you're not trying to move forward with and they're dragging their free, their feet from disconnecting from you, you're allowing them to stay connected. So you need to pull that rug and say, go on about your life and I'm going to go on about mine and good luck. Sometimes you have to be that asshole. So in order for you to move on, you have to release the old things. And as soon as you do, a new door is going to open up for you to where you will have the ability to have everything that you want. But in order to get there, you have to show your dominance. You have to show that you have control over something and be like, look, this is the time limit. This is how long you have to get out. This is how long you have to shoo along, you know. Um, but it, it's also a sense of uh, understanding that sometimes people drag their feet. They can move faster if they really wanted to, but they're dragging feet and making excuses because they want to stay tied to you in some way. And this is something that you have to recognize. So sometimes you have to take the initiative to cut the cords yourself because this is what's waiting for you. What's waiting for you is solid commitment. What's waiting for you is solid home life. What's waiting for you, you know, once you make this move, Pisces, is something that is that you're not going to regret, something that's going to be um, fantastic. All right, Spirit, what angel messages do you have for my Pisces babies? We have the night. Be brave and be honest. I've been saying this. This has been coming out in a lot of readings today. Be brave and be honest. I know he's holding a sword, but to me, it looks like he's holding the microphone. Use your voice. Find your throat chakra. Open that bitch up and speak your truth. We have Autumn. Release the old and rest. You have to clear things out so that way new things can grow. Especially in the, it's time for you to move old things out and start planting your seeds. We have Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. You have to trust yourself. We have Broken Arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Direction Guard. Choose your own path. It's time for you to choose your own path and stop worrying about somebody else's path. We have Druid. Hold the space. Okay? So you need to clear, clear things out so you can get more things to grow in the space that you want them to grow. So... That is what I have for you today, Pisces. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.